Hi my friends, it's Bella. Welcome to Beauty on a Budget. And this is not the actual video I was going to put up today. Um, I normally sort of plan my videos a little bit ahead, but I think it was last week or the week before I showed you the W7 palettes, the ones in the card that I really, really love. Um, and I also said to you that this one, the spaced out one, a lot of people were saying was a dupe for the Kat Von D palette, which looks like that. But it's all shimmer. Very subtle shimmer, but it's shimmer nevertheless. The actual dupe for the Kat Von D palette is by, okay, the open, it's by Revolution. It's that one. But I compared the two and said how lovely they work together. Because the cut, they just work so well together, guys. Beautiful. Um, and you, a lot of you requested if you could have a look with those two palettes. So um, there's quite a few of you. I thought I would fit that one in today. And that this is the look I've got now. So I'll share that with you now. Okay, my friends, so as I said, a lot of people are saying that this is a dupe for the Kat Von D palette. Um, I've seen a few write-ups about that, but actually it's not, because this is shimmer, as I said before, and this is matte. This is the dupe for the um, Kat Von D palette. But the colours, I get where they're coming from as far as the colours go. You know, the colours are good. Now, what I tend to do is I tend to... You can see here that they're in, like, families, if you like, groups, yeah? And so are these. So what I try to do... Sorry, guys. What I try to do is if I'm, say, for instance, using this section, I will use this section to go with it. If I'm using, sorry, if I'm using this section, then I will use this section. If I'm using this section, then I will use this section. Because they tally up excellent as teams. So today I think I will go, I think I'll go with the, hmm, the peachy one. I think we'll go with the peachy one today. See how we go with that. So... I just put my nail in there guys so I'm going to start with the base here color of the Kat Von D one because that's really a base for anything and putting that up all over my eye I've got a mirror down here guys this let's turn it over to the magnifying side so I'll give it a bit of a better view. So that's that one. And that goes all over the eye. Um, and then for this look, um, I'm going to take... I'm going to take this mid-brown here for the very first transition colour. I'm going to take that one and I'm going to put that in the crease. Um, I never put shimmer in the crease. Um, to be honest, I didn't do it that many years ago either, even when I, I could afford, I had a crease that I could put it in. <laughs> but um, I've always preferred a matte look in my crease. So this one's very subtle, as you can see. Just the beginning of the crease. Okay, so next I'm going to take the actual peach one. I'm going on to the section that I'm actually going to work on. It's a light, but I'm still going to use that in the crease just to blend in to that very first transition colour. We're still looking at very, very subtle colours. Probably you can hardly see them. Very, very subtle. We're using that just below that one. 
all it's doing is making that first transition colour just slightly warmer so that we work our way down into the actual look slowly. Okay, now I'm going to take, I'm still on the matte palette, and I'm going to take this spicy colour here. This. And then we're going further down the crease. So this is the very deepest part of the crease. And we're still just subtly blending that in. This little circular movement, it's a very small brush I'm using for this one, guys. And take a little bit higher. And keep doing that until we've blended that in. Okay, so that one's blended in. So we're coming down, down and down and fading, going upwards we're fading. Now I'm going to take silver on the matte palette. For, this is from the Revolution, and on the top of my tip of my brush, I'm going to take this dark brown, and I'm going to look up so I can see my crease properly and see the line that I'm looking for, and I'm just going to do this here. Just here and down. Not too far along on the actual lid, but still we want to uh, darken that corner. And I'm going to blend that. Okay, so that's that one blended. Still with the Revolution palette, I'm going to take the brown that I just took a little tiny pencil brush, small one like that. I'm looking up again and I'm going to go really right next to the lashes. About three quarters of the way along. Right next to the lashes and I'm going to bring that up as I always do. To make the outer bit. And then I'm going to get a slightly more fluffy brush, this one, and I'm going to blend that so that that's all nicely blended in. Okay, so that's blended in now. This is the last we did with this palette. So I finished with this palette. I may come back to it at the end if I want to deepen the, the crease or I want to deepen the outer corner. So we finished with that one for now and we are going on to the W7 palette. Now what I want to try and do is build my lid with the same three colours that I've put on for the... I've got a little bit of fallout there. Uh, same three colours that I've put on to, to make my crease shades. So um, let's just sort that a little bit out here. Okay. So I used this these colours in there, guys. The really, really warm orangey ones. So I'm going to start with a clean, small, flat brush. Now, if you want this more intense, as I've always said. You know, wet your brush. Put a little bit of um, Fix Plus or, you know, whatever you're using onto your brush. So I'm going to start with the very power one here. It's very icy. And I'm going to put my head back and I'm going to put this. I want to be able to see so that I'm not... Go back to the bigger mirror. And I'm going to use this just on my inner corner. As I said, I want it quite sub more subtle, but it will, if you put some uh, fixing spray, any fixing spray, the one that you prefer to use, then I'm going to bring that slightly down so that it just goes into that inner corner there. 
not too much and I work that with my finger more ever, ever deep or you know you want it yourself you just work that into that first colors work too okay so that's the first shade now I'm going to take the peachy one right in the very corner clean my brush off and that one's going into the center of the lid And I'm blending it into the white. Let's see, guys. Blending it into the white. Making sure I don't go above that crease line. And just blending it nicely into the white. Okay, guys. Now I'm going to take. The darkest brown in the shimmer shade, the here, which is near yeah, this one. So that's quite, it's still shimmery. And I'll mix it in a little bit with the one below it because that's sort of brown and that one's a little bit warmer. So we're mixing with that. And this is going just on the outside of the lid, but it's not going to go up at all into the V. So we just want this. Just here, just on the outside, but we want to keep it to the lid. Follow the shape of your eye round so that you're not going anywhere other than the lid. And then we get a brush and we just do the brush and we just warm that so that it goes nicely into the more apricot colour we put in the middle. Okay guys, now we're back to the palette, it's like the cat body shading light palette. And we are going to go back into the first peach on a fluffier brush like this. And then we're going to just go on that very edge there so that that blends in because we've done a lot of work there. And then we're going to do the same and we're going to blend that and we're going to tidy up and you just know where you need to put a bit of light to how to blend that out so we're going to do that next okay guys so that's tidied up now the last thing i'm going to do not everybody would want to do but i'm going to take the matte palette again and i'm going to take the black in the center and then very carefully, very thinly, I'm going to just mark between what's the shimmer. It's not even shimmer, is it, guys? You know, it's like a silk. And coming out very slightly because we always want to lift. To separate what's the shimmer and or the glimmer or whatever we're going to call it and the matte but do that with the matte it's also got a black in the um the w7 palette in spaced out palettes also got a black but that is got quite well, it's not a lot of glitter but it's not glitter that i would personally let's have a look if i can show you it's, it's more but more of a, can you see that guys that's not a black that i i mean it's really intense black they're beautiful colors but it's not one that i would put on my crease area don't need to uh, emphasize anything there at all <laughs> so just a thin line so we are separating what's the dark and what's the light uh, what's the shimmer and what's not and then we're going to do some more blending okay guys so I gave it one final blending um, so it all sort of gels nicely together but that is the end of the palettes i'll finish my makeup and i'll be back 
Okay, so I hope you like that. I'm glad I quite like this look. I think this is one of my favourite looks. I like it. And then I love this blush. And if I wear this kind of look, I, this is um, Milani's Luminosa. And I never get fed up with this blush. I absolutely love this blush. Okay, now then, what did I want to tell you? You know I, I am queen of the dupes. I love dupes. Um, it's one of the things I do to go out and find those for you is, you know, that's what I really love as well. But I, I can't stress highly enough that there is a di big difference between a dupe and a copy. Yeah, these are dupes. So this is a dupe for the Cat Von T palette. It's made by Revolution. Revolution are an established well-known, very good company. Whether you like their things or you don't, they're a very reputable company. As are W7, a very reputable company. So that's what you call a dupe. A copy would be in exactly the same kind of packaging, normally a lot cheaper looking. It would look identical and to the naked eye a lot of the times you can look at them and they, they obviously they are not the original because you are not going to get that sort of Natasha Denona palette for you know ten dollars or ten pounds but they look they can look really really good and that they perfected their art of trying the outside and everything looks good and you know, I can understand how tempting that is. For someone who absolutely weaknesses eyeshadow palettes, I can really, really, you know, understand where you're coming from with wanting to buy those. But it's the content, something looking the same is not necessarily the same, well, definitely not the same content. It's not the same quality. It's, it's not bulked with the same things. And what that can do to your eyes and the damage it can do, you know. These things are mass produced. They are absolutely mass produced. And no, you just don't know what's in them. You don't know how they were made. You don't know the factories were made in. It's just, it's just a no-go area. And I also think it's, you know, I think a lot of the, it is robbing. It is robbing, isn't it? To say something is... I mean, these say... They've got similar, very similar name, names. I mean, this is the Ultra Eye um, Contour Light and Shade. I think the... I think Kat Von D's is Shade and Light. So it's very similar. And it's it's obviously made to be very similar. But it's not packaged as it's, if it's as if it is the Kat Von D palette. You know, they, they, it's a good company. They're a good company. It's not, you know, up there with the uh, Natasha Denona's, but it's not saying it is, you know. They're not saying they are. Dupes are just... I love dupes, and if I can find a really good dupe, I, I'm really happy. And a lot of the stores now, a lot of the companies, and the reputable companies, are making really good dupes, and, you know, very high quality. And sometimes you, you can't tell the difference, and sometimes they're even better. Um, but don't ever get that mixed up with a copy that is made by goodness knows who, and just bolt made and thrown out there to tempt particularly the young ones who you know are coming into makeup and are so vulnerable oh and can be so easily jump on that band we're going to buy in the copies so my advice to you would be never buy a copy never buy a copy um if you can't afford a certain palette um, and you really, really want to either save very hard for it or find a decent dupe but never buy a copy because they're not copies and goodness knows what the stuff inside will do to your face.
Okay, so that's the end of my lecture for today. Um, I hope you like this look. I really like it. I'm really, really pleased with this look. I hope you guys like it. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, yeah, I fitted this video in because I know it's um, what you asked me to do. So I did. I will see you again real soon. You take care of yourselves and I love you all. Bye.